What's going on guys? It's me, Sammy Mong, and I am back on Riders of Icarus playing in the tower. I've just gotta wait for my mana food to eat so I can get that nice extra 48 constitution. I don't know how much health that is, but we are back in the tower and I'm gonna try and make this more to the point, maybe a little bit more cut, but just general gameplay like you guys have been asking for and I guess tips and advice and one of them is coming is coming straight up what you want to be doing is if you can find this legendary emblem package okay because it gives you a feather and it gives you a dire wounds cure even though at level 50 you can't use it but it also gives you this nice health and defense tincture so if you can't particularly can't particularly if you haven't got the gold or can't particularly be bothered to say grind up normal strength potions constitution potions spend five alloons and get that so i have upgraded my gear a little bit a little bit since the oh god no no i've said that i was wrong should have done that oh i'm sorry cat i'm sorry oh disgraceful start but like absolutely disgraceful start i was meant to move you kitty Right, let's see if we can do that. Actually, no, someone told me to get your cat to attack these lower level enemies. So I'm going to actually do that. But yeah, this is going to be a general gameplay, just tips. And I'm guessing for the first guy, all you got to do is blast him down. Attack him, cat. Attack him. It's not doing anything, is it? It's just standing there like, nah, fam, this ain't my job. This is yours. Oh, I forgot my Allura Spire tincture as well. That gives me my extra 10% cooldown because a lot of people, I don't know if you've noticed, but you actually get like a curse in here like you do the legendary dungeons. And although it says cooldown increased by 10%, that means it gets rid of it. So I usually have 40% and now I'm only at 30 and now I'm also only at 20% critical rate. Critical? Oh, my, my English this morning. So just equipping your general tincture. As you can see, you're going to have loads if you run the spire every day. I use them or I try to use it at every level and I've still got 147. It doesn't make sense. And although I've upgraded my gear, I've got a plus 20 Karashar shield and a plus 15 Karashar sword. Not the best. I, I, actually, I'd say the shield's actually a pretty good. It's like double health defense. So health defense, physical defense. I'll try and get it up in a minute. But although like I've upgraded my gear on this floor or in on any floor in general, I still am going to try and take out the mobs first. Just because once I start getting to floors 13 and 14, the fights take so long that sometimes I'll run out of time. Like, I'll literally run out of time and I miss that spell. But if I don't, then it's just I'm not going to get any further. So I might as well be more careful on floors, if that makes sense. There's no point trying to rush forward if you're going to die at the same point every time. And also, if you don't take those spiders out, I'm pretty sure there's some sort of health regen for this spider. I'll have to confirm on that. But there's something different. The spiders do something. And bam, bam. At some point in this video as well, I need to try and turn off my UI. Maybe on like, oh god, that was completely the wrong button. Maybe on like the next fight, because I need to get just footage of me smashing someone with a shield just over and over for a montage. You'll see, it's coming soon. If you want to save your potions as well, or if you're lazy and you haven't actually gotten your... What is it? Alchemy up. Hey, give me my Rados. Get a Rados and get your Haunted Rabini. And then obviously they heal you up loads. Just a little bit. It's not enough for the later levels. Obviously it's only put me up to half health. But it's, it's, it's there. It's going to help you out. And this. This is the ultimate level. What you want to do is kill this little horse thing on the floor after. So I've had it. If you don't kill that quick enough, you just completely ignore it. Then it will give you like another debuff that reduces cooldown, physical health, and everything else. Like, I don't know if they took that out, but who knows? And if I keep jumping, by the way, it's because my alt button on this keyboard is so, like, it's so far away from everything else. I've got really small hands, and this keyboard's just huge. Goddamn huge. So I keep, like, pressing buttons I shouldn't be. You can see it in the bottom, like, I'm pressing four and five when I shouldn't be. Oh, stand by! No, too late. If you can get it, stand by as a guardian. Sometimes it blocks it with safeguard. Sometimes it doesn't. And I don't know if you can avoid avoid responsibility. And I don't think you can. That's a bit annoying. You can't block avoid responsibility either. But yeah, sometimes it gets safeguard. And sometimes it doesn't. <coughs> God, my throat. Sometimes it doesn't. But 
I don't know. If you've got any tips for this level, this is one of the more confusing ones for me. I know it's just straight out right killed him, but when it comes to these two, like, I can't... So he didn't block it. I think if you literally block it the minute she starts casting it, then you may be able to, like, get away with it, but I don't know. I'm kind of scared when she casts another avoid responsibility. Oh. Now. Oh. See that? Time that perfectly where I literally didn't lose any health because I used my pot right after the ability. Fantastic. Right, we're moving on to the next one. Challenges coins is all I'm really saving up for. Two minutes left on my potion. 25 minutes left on everything else. Nice and nice. Right, let's eat one of these. Shift free. Always move your pet. Like, literally. Oh. Oh, there's only one. Ah. Fair enough. If you've ever had it as well, where you've gone to tame something, and then you failed to tame, and once you're trying to tame it again, it won't let you, just go back to your character screen. Like, it just instantly chucks you out of your taming, like, stance, I guess, and it won't let you jump onto the mount. Go to the character screen, you may lose two or three minutes, but at least then you don't lose your whole run. And these Lekus are ridiculous, like, absolutely ridiculous. Like, last night or the day before, I was in my Discord, like, absolutely raging to some of the guild. Like, I've tamed the same Leku seven times in a row. Seven, I was like, five, six, seven. It just failed one after the other. But, huzzah, it seems like we're going to get it now, and we're going to pass on. I like how it says, um, tame the small Leku, and then sometimes it'll say, uh, to tame the golden Leku. It'd be interesting if you could, like, perhaps tame this guy in some way or form in, like, a future update. But who knows, right? I need to get my cat, and I need to get my stance back on. Oh, oh I really shouldn't really leave my cat here. If you can, try and get some of the red Lekus. Like, as a guardian, pulling them in isn't that hard. But they just give you extra points, like an extra few points to your score. Which I know isn't much, but it all adds up. It literally it all adds up. So if you can pull in a few mobs... Without wasting too much time. Like, I can pull that guy in, switch back to the Golden Leku, and then just kill them with your AoE damage. You'll, you'll be fine. Like, it's just working to get as many points as you can. It's like on floor 9. I'll only kill the horse that spawns if it's, um, Calypto. Deminus and Hamion in my eyes just take too long. And to be honest, I haven't even seen Hamion. I think I've only seen Calypto and Deminus. So, who knows what will happen there, when we get there. Right. Hmm. If you've watched my other previous tower videos, you'll know that I haven't I, I haven't really changed anything since then. Like, I do pull this side of the mobs, try and take them out as quickly as I can. Usually I grab that guy, but it seems he didn't come. And then I'll go over, and I'll just kill that side of the mobs. Like, I always go for the DPS first. Try and leave my pet at the opposite side of the room at all times as well. Let's just pull you in. Oh, God. Oh, we missed it. See, sometimes I, like, get so, like, caught up in what I'm doing and just my strategy that I'll, I'll mess up loads. Help me, please. If you have any tips or anything, leave them down below. But for this guy, if you're not a guardian, first of all, if you're a guardian, you can just block any ability that they do. If you do it in time. <laughs> oh god, how embarrassing. But if you're not a guardian, what you can do is just jump behind them like that. And they'll just miss. It's not like a lock-on target like the first lady with the horses. I forgot what she was called. I forgot what the spell was called. God. Oh, bam. What you really want to do though, guys. Oh god. Is try and just get up your alchemy and get potions on the go. Like, honestly, all of those plus 50 constitution, plus 50 strength, it will all make a difference. Like, literally, and let's just use one of them. And then, if you're not a freemium user, you've got some health regen. You can get a ton of radoses. Unfortunately, they don't stack. So, you can't use one rados. Ooh, a three-hour one. And then use another one to stack the buffs. You have to wait until it's run out. But, anyway, well, at least it's free free healing you're not having to waste time grinding potions you don't have to spend money on premium it's nice that they've got pets like that and i'd like to see more because to my knowledge it's only rados and the haunted rabini at the moment with this guy you want to block straight away like that bam it gets rid of the natural restraints thing that he does where it keeps you in like place for a second or few 
I'm gearing for the, the AI. The AI, the UI. I need it. Bam. Uh. Oh, here's little Devine. Oh! I've been I've been hit to the floor, but I can't see my potion my spell thing. Oh my god. Bam! Oh, natural restraints. I didn't see it. I'm doing this for a montage, by the way, guys. I don't know if I'm going to include this in the next, in, like, the whole footage of the tower. But I'm doing it for a montage. Because the only tip I really have for this is you've got to get rid of that natural restraints. Like, like that, and then. Or, or the little Devine one. I don't know what it is. I don't know what that spell is. Is it Lonely Crying? She stuns you in some way or form, but generally I just go for the tree. Like, he's really weak compared to the rest of the tower, surprisingly. I don't understand. Oh. They took out my thing. My cat. Is it still alive? No, there we go. Unable to... What? Oh, there we go. It's about to say, what do you mean? I can mount my kitty if I want to. Actually, I've got two. Oh, no, they're both in storage. Both in the familiar thing. Now, when I first came up with the tower... I suggested you kill one of these worm things. I'm going to suggest that again. But don't go for that side. Look. On this side, that worm lava thingamajig doesn't attack you. But if you go on that side and try to attack that one, that will happen. Where that one goes in and you'll just get dragged to that one. And then you'll get dragged back to that one. So you'll start killing this, you'll get dragged to him, and then you'll get dragged back to him. On this side, that, like... What is it? A spell that sort of drags you towards them. Doesn't manage to reach you for some reason. Like, I don't know why. But yeah, stick to the left side. And then, obviously, once you've killed that one, you've got really this whole area to yourself. You're not going to be affected by any of the other lava worm thingamajiggies. I'm really messing up my combos here. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you get annoyed by that. I need to stick with my combos. Keep all my physical defense buffs up. And what not, make sure I'm not losing too much health. And of course, get a lot of physical attack. See, see it all up there. Oh, the lag, the lag. Don't you love it when it lags? It's fantastic, isn't it? And now I'm like in myself. Jesus. I'm still yet to get a silent keyboard as well. I don't know why. It would really help out videos like this. If you can hear the keys in the background, I, I, I'm actually unsure. I've done multiple videos like this, but it's never been that noticeable. But now we're getting to the 8th, the 9th, and the 10th floor, guys. You know the 10th floor is the bane of my existence. Like, ridiculously much. Ridiculously? I don't even think that's a word. I don't even think that's a part of the English language. Ridiculously much. Wow. Oh god, it lagged that fast. I thought I added like a second or two to get a drink. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to still focus the main boss. But you can see I've got all of the ads in front of me. What this will do is just wear them down slowly in just with the AoE. Violent Sandstorm you can actually avoid. I'm unsure about the other Sandstorm. Is it Raging Sandstorm? The lag, like, those, like, graphic card lag settings is just insane. It's like, I'm gonna cut them out, but on my screen, everything just stops for a second. The sound is still there, but I can't do anything, I can't move, I'm just stuck in place. And that's the Ranging Sandstorm spell I was on about. So I know you can avoid the other Sandstorm. You can block the Venom Cut. It's just a Raging Sandstorm. I don't know how to do. Don't know whether I should run away, try and get closer to him. If you don't kill the ads, that will happen as well. He'll spawn in another set of four. But generally, they don't, they're don't. they not that really effective. They used to get me loads when the tower first came out. But I guess they're okay now. Raging Sandstorm. Just run like diagonally, I swear. Oh, you can see that I missed all of them then. Fantastic. Oh, no. Oh, he did another one. You can kill him with that, no. Let's just kill him with fire. Oh, I hate it when he spawns more at the end. Like, I get that you can get points from him, I think. Yeah, you can get a few points. But it's just it's a waste of time, man. Waste of time. I've got 16 minutes on my food and everything. I honestly don't think I'm going to last that long. 
because by the time we've got past the Emberstone Golem, then it's Bismuth. I may potentially die at Bismuth, so who knows, but, oh, maybe the Golem will drop us a Death Blow Bomb. I haven't seen any of the physical defense bombs being dropped, and jeez, why is there so many mobs? There's usually only like one or two for me at the back. I've only ever seen like a four stack once. I'm going to try and take out two of them, and then just pull the boss and try and take them two out after. Alright, here we go. <laughs> just know who that is. That's Nem Raps, that is. If you don't watch Nem Raps and his you laugh, you lose. You really have not been on YouTube, have you? It's the most hilarious thing. I don't get why PewDiePie didn't like it. Oh! I was clicking the Earth Cut, but I don't think it was that effective. Or the Earth Cut, I was clicking my shield. Jesus. It does a lot of damage. That what that worries me. Because if I get, like, what is it? Um, pushed to the floor by one of the Emberstone Golems. A continuous, like, Emberstone Golem can just outright kill me. But if he Earth Cuts with it, bam, I'm just, I'm outright dead. I'm going to try and stick to this side of the, I've got a really itchy eye right now. So I keep leaning backwards and forward of the map. Just potentially so I don't have to pull them to. Huh, yeah, you, uh, uh. Listen to them, they just go, hoi hoi. Oh, sh no, 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 please. Ah, oh, that was the last one. Huzzah, fantastic. At least, we, at least we're not going to die today. At least we're not going to die today. Bam. I'm hoping he spawns Calypto as well. Do is avoid the Emberstone Golems by jumping. Oh, God, he's never done two rounds. I'm slow. Like, yeah, just jump like this. Set the boss. Jump a little bit better. Oh! Oh! No! Save me! Save me! He's he's on a sliver of health. Oh! Wait! 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 Yeah! Jesus, that was close. That would have been embarrassing. And it's Calypto! Yeah, fantastic. Can I loot my stuff yet, yeah, lovely? Let me just loot. Let me loot, man. Oh, there we go. I always like to loot first, just in case it disappears. Like, you've heard the tragic stories of people just being in Cavern and Vale. Killed, like, the first, um, woman, female boss person. And then forget about her loot and it disappears by the time they've killed the eye. Disgraceful. Why does loot disappear? I get it if it was in an open world. But in an instance dungeon, I'm all about that loot staying for as long as it needs to be, for it to be on the floor. Potentially if it's left for like 10 minutes. But long boss fights, oh god. My B is right next to my V, so if I miss the V, that's it, it's gone. We might as well kill them for some extra points as well, we're already above 50k. Usually I'm on like 48, 49 for floor 9. But I want to kill this guy so I can get full health up. Before the next fight. Because I'm most likely going to die on Bismuth. I always do. I know I, I can get further. I know I can get further. I can get to like floor 14. I haven't got to floor 15 yet. Right, let's just get you up. That's going to take too long. Let's just eat that. There you go. Right. Here we go. Oh, I've still got my finger jig out. My Rados. Get the cat out. There we go. Right. You can avoid gravity crush, okay? I'm saying this now. And you can block the swipe after. It's just a case of doing it. Go over there. This one. Oh, well, apparently I can. Blo I didn't block the swipe after. But you can. I know you can. Oh, I've done it again. I've pressed V thinking it was B, so I switched the key. And, obviously, I started on V and went to C. Damn. Gravity Crush. Hoi. Yes. So, don't do it straight away. Wait until he, like, turns around. Oh, bam. He hit me anyway and then do it. This is the hardest fight of them all for me, I'd say. I'm not going to lie. But, apart from just dodging Gravity Crush, because if you don't, it does another hit where it just chucks you straight back. With insane damage. Like, I haven't really got anything else to help you guys out. I'm sorry. 
But that's all I do is all I... Yo! All I do is dodge gravity crush. But I can't seem to like give an indicator of when he's gonna do stuff like that. Just like a giant big sweep. Bam. Yeah, that's gravity crush. Oh no, that wasn't even gravity crush. That's gravity crush. That's when you try to block it, but you can't. I need to move like I'm stuck. I'm stunned. I've got insane battle like move speed decrease. My health potion isn't for another five seconds. Just run. Run, dear friend. Run. There we go. Right. Bam. Let's try and get these physical defenses. That. Mate, I get destabbed. De Destabilized so much by this guy. He's chucked on the floor like I'm a ragdoll. It's not fair, man. Stop hitting me, sir. And block. Yeah. See, I blocked you, fam. I blocked you. And your, your, your saggy. I, I don't even know. You haven't even got any nipples, babe. I'm kind of worried for you. So, Bismuth, you're going down. And we have finally gotten past floor 10. Oh, God. This is where I die now, innit? Come on. I was waiting for my V to try and finish him off. Do I take the potion to be safe? I take the potion to be safe. And he killed my cat. I'm getting straight out of here. And on to the next one. Wait, vulnerability bomb. What's that? Could I use that for the next guy? Or should I save it? And try and get it to pass floor 14. I need my cat back first of all. Sit there, mate. What does it do? Decreases overall defense by 90% for a minute. Yo, ah, Should I try and hit them all with it? Group up with me, friends. Why can't I use it? Use it, sir. Use it. Why isn't it using it? Can I only use it on the summoner? Oh, I can only use it on the summoner. There we go. I think I had the other guy targeted. I'm not quite sure, but look at that. I am doing some pretty insane damage to him now. Usually, I don't touch this guy and it takes forever. It never goes down that fast. Oh, yo. Come on now. We need to get back on the summoner and do as much damage. Really? Oh, really? No, nothing. You are dying, good sir. Right, there we go, finally. The one thing that triggers me is being chucked to the floor multiple times by different mobs. Honestly, that just gets me. It's like the game needs to give you a chance to retaliate. It's what Crowful has. You press E and you can retaliate when you're on the floor. So you can't just get chained to the ground over and over. It's fantastic. It's the best, like, combat, or one of the best combat features I've seen. To just be able to retaliate and break a combo chain. I know plenty of games have a feature like it. But, because Icarus doesn't, you're going to get a salty mong. Okay, a salty mong. Not a semi mong, a salty mong. I also found out last night that if you type in semi mong on Google... My face comes up on the first page of Google. So that means I finally made it, lads. Okay? I'm now a true Mong. Even Google recognizes me as a Mong. Like, does, not, does that not tell you something? But, guys, that is probably from my YouTube channel. And all of you watching it, supporting it, giving me views. So I really, really, from the bottom of my heart, do appreciate that. At least I, I now can put that on my CV, you know? Appears on first page of Google. Semi Mong. Fantastic. What what employer would not want to hire me? And that's floor eleven. So seems like we got past that pretty easy with that little I forgot what it's called now. Vulnerability bomb. What's next? Ah, oh, the Wailing Widow. She takes quite long. All I can suggest for you on this one, guys. Ladies as well. Sorry, I keep I keep saying guys. I really need to stop that. Like, suggest something that I can call my audience down below that's not gender based. It really doesn't know. I'm always saying guys. But all I can suggest for this lady is that you kill the ads the moment they come. The the, the moment they come. Like she doesn't do too much damage herself. And because I did, I swear I hit her with my grasp thing. Is it because I went too far in front of her, or because she walked behind me? 
I should have saved the physical defense for this. But then the summoners might have gotten me. I always forget to do this as well. So really annoying. I always contradict myself. Like I always tell myself like I'll do it at the end of every portal and then I just forget. I just forget. I'm a pleb. I'm an actual pleb. Is everything off cooldown? Let's go. Bam. Bam. She hasn't, she hasn't summoned any mobs yet at the moment. She summons like the fortress guy like we just saw. Oh no, that was, that was an episode in Gollum. She's, yeah, she summons the fortress boss. And then the breach boss. This is another minky. This is like another emberstone golem type of thing. Yeah, you missed, bro. You missed. Now what are you saying? So I'm gonna try and like, keep them in the same area. So my AOE spells still damage the Wailing Widow. But it's kind of hard when one stands in front of you and the other stands there. There we go. Get them both to the side. So he stood in front of me again. I hate having to control mobs ah, now they're both in front of me haha <laughs> but as you can see I said this at the start of the video if you are still here once again much love really do appreciate it but once you get to this level like these floors mobs start becoming just ridiculously slow to kill well especially for me as a guardian I've done my bit I've tried to upgrade my DPS by getting a better sword What's left next for me is either to get the Karashar crossbow. So I can potentially just start going to Atia, start going to Trauna, just have that DPS to compete, and then um, go for a. Is it, yeah, Karashar jewelry set? I was about to say Ruinous. I've already got a Ruinous one. Because it gives you an extra 12% cooldown if you have two pieces. And with my 40% at the moment, well, 34, 6% comes from the Raven's Mask. I may potentially not get that again next month. We'll have to see. But even 34 plus 12, that's still, what, 46? Or if I do get the Raven's Mask next week, next month to get my extra 6%, it would just cap me out at 50. So I really do need to get two pieces of Karashar jewellery. But my problem being, my Runus rings at the moment are health percent. So if I replace it with just any old ring, it, it's going to make me lose a lot of health. And then my uh, Runus Necklace is double strength, so it's a lot of DPS for me. So I need to find stuff that's of the same nature, like, sort of equivalent to it. I completely forgot about Mimi. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> You're a middle child. So am I, good sir, so am I. But yeah, give me advice on what I should really do with my gear. And that's the Fortress boss, yeah, I knew it. Mate, they all called Mimi. I swear that other thing just then was called Mimi too. Yeah, look, there's a breach boss. So obviously, you're going to want to take these out. Just so you haven't got their abilities from the dungeon, like, messing you up. But the great thing about it is that because... Oh! I was so low then. Because they're thing jiggies, they're only elites. So you can stop them by, like, pulling them with your chain. Or in any other class, I guess you can, like, stun them or push them. I don't know. I don't know how other classes work. I've only played a guardian and a priest and a ranger a long time ago. But I know there's spells that obviously stop people from casting. So that's what you really want to do. Because it was, it's those abilities that will mess you up. You can see the Wailing Widow's not really doing anything to me. It's only really, say, Immortal Resistance where he heals. Or Distortion where he chucks you up into the air. That Emberstone Golem's Fury Strike. The other guy's Amputation. All of the dungeon abilities from other bosses are the ones that are going to get you pretty much i hate that when that comes up as well there's nothing for me to collect it's just because i've been logged in for half an hour what i would like to see actually saying that potentially is if you've done what i've done you've like logged in all the way to the 22nd every day and you've just thought of wait the last six days it's potentially give you some loons so say you, uh, you're logged in for another half an hour Give yourself some balloons, like they'll give you five balloons, like each day. That would be nice, just as like an extra reward for like continuously being online. Like I mean, continuously, like every single day. Right, this is the floor where if I don't mess up on Bismuth, I tend to mess up on this one. So I have to kill the assassins and then to save time, so I'm not finger jiggy in them. Uh, just pull the boss over to this side of the room. But I've only just realised, I've only got 10 minutes left, so I don't know if it's worth trying. I'm going to try, 
but I don't think I'll be able to complete it in time, especially seeing as I've not got my overall health and defense tincture potion, and I've not got my finger jig anymore. My, like, extra strength and constitution foods. That's it. I was about to say beef. Yo, stop attacking me, bro. At least we've got that still. And as I said, it's all about the points. The higher you get in points, the better off you are. So say you get to the floor and you know, like, you haven't got the time or you've just not got the physical defense, the DPS or whatever to take down the boss. Kill as many of the ads as you can. You need those points. Now I'm at 92,000. Thanks to... Oh, Jesus. God damn, he hits hard. Thanks to those two mobs that I just killed then. Oh. Right, we're cutting through his health kind of nicely, actually. It's when he casts Earthquake that I'm kind of worried. How did Lion's Roar get me? I was behind you, fam. Oh, God. I'm stunned. I'm looking at my own Buckus, and I can't go towards him. All right, there we go. Those three spells are just a giant increase of reduced physical defense for him. Physical defense reduced, physical defense and evasion. So if you can, after that, go straight for your combo. But I do like to try and stack it with these other physical debuff ones. Oh, I forgot Q. Wait. The lack of physical crit rate worries me. Like I'm doing pleb damage. I'm only doing like 4,000, 5,000 a hit. With physical crit rate, I'm doing like 10,000, 13,000 sometimes. But no. Look, 15,000. See? I don't know why there's a debuff in here. There shouldn't be, really. This is most likely when there's going to be the most cuts as well. I'm trying so hard to concentrate right now. My throat is so dry. Oh, Earthquake, run. Run, friends. Oh, oh, oh. No. Oh. I survived. I survived. Alright, now it's the waiting game of Willy Cast Earthquake again. Just to get more, I'm going to screw my physical defense. I'm going straight for DPS to try and take this guy out. Oh, God. A little bit of lag there. Oh, not another Lion's Roar. I was definitely behind you again. Maybe you can't dodge that. Maybe it's like a hole around one. Death Lord Liaga. Liaga? Liaga? I haven't seen this guy in game yet. Like a lot of the tower things, you would have seen the mobs already. Obviously, Lakeus, just a mount. Bismuth is a world boss. I'm trying to think. The desert guys, a lot like potentially the mercenaries from cloying. Oh god, friend, help me! Help me, bunny! Oh, we're nearly there. This is where I failed last time. At least I'll get to show you the next floor now. Like a pleb. On the next floor, I am going to have to give up though. Like I'll be unable to do it in five minutes. Unless I get a triple death blow bomb from this guy. Ah, oh, no. Only a Cargyle's Mark recipe. Guys. The next floor will unfortunately take too long for me to actually get past it. I will give you a sneak preview and try and just work on my gear, work on my DPS to try and get here faster for next time. But it is Lamarche. So we've seen this guy. Is it? Where have we seen this guy? I can't remember where we've seen this guy. But we've seen him before. Is it? Oh, is it Frost Keep? I think it's Frost Keep. What you do is you start attacking this guy, and then at every certain amount of health, he'll, like, make one of these passive things, like, aggressive, and they'll start attacking you too. 
but unfortunately, I've not got the time. We'll, we will engage. We will engage and see how far we can get. But look, see, yeah, it is, it is from Frostkeep. The Dark Arrow. That's where I remember it from. Let's see if I can get him. So you can see these don't attack. But once you get this guy down to a certain amount of health, they will start to attack. And they bring a different variety of problems to the to the table. If you have the physical defense, you could potentially just ignore them. And go straight for this guy. You can see him getting alright damage off on him. But I'm not really doing too much. And that dark arrow is gonna mess me about loads. Oh man, I got yawn. Come on, when do you spawn? Yeah, there we go. There's little Davine. But if you don't take care of these, they'll just obviously use their own abilities to mess you up, I guess. Like little Davine can stun you. I'm going to go for the little Davine, though. Try and get the extra points. Come on. Attack. 101,000. Oh, yo! I went to try and use the pot, but I died. Damn. And we are back, so let's go hand in the quest, see what we got, and end it up with there. But let's get the five free loons. Oh, God. Oh, ow. Really stuffy nose, leg cramp. Not a good combo. Oh. Ah. Uh, Alright, here we go. Let's open up a commander's box, first of all. Oh! We got another pet Dullahan. Fantastic. Absolutely useless. There's literally, I don't understand about these. Everyone's moaning, saying, well, oh, I don't mind a Rondo, but Dullahan? All he does is increase overall attack and move speed. Like, yeah, fair enough, but there's better pets out there. You don't, critical damage? Meh, meh. That's what I have to say. But what did we end up with? We, we ended up with a cooldown charm. So, for the next seven hours, I got 45% cooldown. We ended up with an attack charm. Uh, Elora Spire Lucky Box 3. No, I'm not, I'm not paying 15 just to open that up now. Um, and then Spirit Box, blah, blah, blah. All of these PvP things are just so annoying. I've got tons of this aura in my bank. It's so... I uh, don't understand. I uh, literally don't understand. More Dark Tears. No Twilight Crystals, unfortunately. A Void Beast Droth Mark. Okay, I'm going to keep that. I don't really keep the Trifty Rift Elite ones anymore because I don't use them. But I like that one. It's like the Gilded Benefic from the first game, like, first game? From the first update. It was my favourite mount back when it first came out. I had it at level 1 because Nexon messed up. And then they took it away from me. They took it away. And, oh, at least we got one silver ingot. Guys, if you've enjoyed this tower gameplay slash, slash, <laughs> slash tips and advice, be sure to leave that like down below. And yeah, social links, everything else down below. Comment what you'd like to see. And we ended up with Trino, Cargyle, and Luna Font Recipe. I've got them all, unfortunately. And they don't really go for too much. But yeah, anything else you want to see, be sure to let me know. I've nearly got enough Challengers coins to get a Karashar crossbow. So, there's going to be plenty more Tower videos to come if you want to see them. But thanks for all of the support. And I'll see you on the next video.